Rashford. And Rashford goes again, and it's turned in by Anthony. It's taken just three minutes for Manchester United to find a way through this most fragile. Seamus Coleman was caught upfield. Manchester United won it back in that central. Bruno Fernandes, Martial, and Everton contributing to their own problems. Yeah, Pickford with a poor clearance. It's neither one or the other, he's not playing it short, he's not going long. Plays it into midfield and Martial. Gianluca Viali. Here's Rashford. Trying to find an angle. Finding Everton players and ultimately Eriksen. And then Casemiro. Well, Everton were claiming offside when the first ball was played. Damari Gray, and Gray found what he thought was a gap at the near post and very nearly found it. Well, the heck. Gray. Taken down by Varane and cleared by Casemiro. And De Gea in a mess, and Everton a level. Connor Cody. Anana left it short, gave it to Eriksen. There's Martial. Here's Rashford. Marcus Rashford for Manchester United. Anthony Martial. Pickford off his line very quickly. High and wide on that right hand side, but when they get. With a break for Eriksen, who weighs it up. And actually, SA is a really good attempt goalwards. That ball had to go longer. Trying to play in a tight area. Manchester United had four players around the ball. Rashford. And Rashford drilled it over. And another moment of misfortune because Connor Cody has now scored at either end. In his own six yard box when the ball's in between him and the goalkeeper, does he stick out? Dukure. Gray is up with him. Dukure lost track of the ball momentarily. There's Coleman. This time it's square to Bruno Fernandez, who lines one up and brings a decent stop from Pickford. Really good technique from Bruno Fernandez. Gets it out of his feet. Cuts across the Bruno ball. Fernandes. Garnacho. A teenage Tyro for Manchester United. And Garnacho goes down. And Darren England points to the spot. Well, it didn't look as though he was going to have. And Marcus Rashford confirms that the 12 times winners. Manchester United are through to the fourth round of the FA Cup for a ninth consecutive season. The odds stacked against the championship visitors. And it's going to be Christian Eriksen. Free kick. You just look at Lumley. I think he's expecting. I think he's here. It is Rashford who tried to make the ball knuckle. Eriksen's follow-up blocked. And now it's Anthony. He just went down, but this is a great effort from Rashford. And it's a good save as well from Lumley because it is moving all over the place. And just see how to make sure nothing comes from the second attempt. I think it might actually be Loom that gets. So you're still scared of him after all these years. <laughs> Samira. Veghorst. Rashford. And the referee, after some deliberation, gives a record breaking goal. The celebrations, the players know exactly. And that is the Reading roar from their supporters as offside. Tula said to his players, you know, don't be afraid, go a little bit higher the pitch, get a little bit closer to them, and don't allow them to get into any rhythm. Anthony. 
slipped in for Casemiro. It's a lovely finish. As we'd said in the first half about centre-backs making runs that would be unexpected. At times you may need that defensive midfielder doing it because he will be the last one to be marked. No Reading players bothered by him at the moment. They're not really interested. They're more bothered about plays in front of him, but it's a lovely run. Casemiro. You don't shoot, you don't score. Casemiro takes the shot. Oh, goodness me. That was Carroll. He's on the yellow card. The referee's playing an advanced exit for Andy Carroll. One of the last Premier people. League in Europe and world football at the moment. Playing with such. Bruno Fernandez and flicked in by Fred. Brilliant from Fred, but it's even better from Fernandez because he's so aware of the run. It's another close call. Be interesting to see what that one is. It's a great finish. To the fifth round of the Cup. City already there. And Reading have got one back. And Ben, you see, he's got the throw. And Garnett show. Uh, well fancied by the bookies with home advantage and, of course, in prime form right now. Yeah, absolutely. They're, they're buzzing at the moment, playing some good, really playing a deeper role. And that kind of allowed Rashford to run in behind, making some good runs. McTominay. It's Savica. It's a smart stop by Ariola. Garnacho. Within range. And Dallo and Veghorst, who looks across immediately at the referee's assistant. I think Ariola's particularly been away since then. Antonio through, clear, with time to think and to act. And a hair comes out, narrows the angle. Follow up is the corner, which Socek met with a stooping header. Ben Rama. So check. Bruno Fernandes. Oh, his level's gone up. Here's Casemiro. It's Veghorst. Had a poor first touch there. Casemiro already making it. And that's the reason it was so fascinating. Saeed Ben Rama firing West Ham into, in my opinion, in Declan Rice. Antonio. He's got Martinez to deal with, and for once, Martinez dived in, and Antonio. For someone else next season. I, I, I think it's. Bruno Fernandes. And the glancing header providing an equalising goal. And Casemiro says, Come on, this is on for the comeback. Yeah, look at him again, John. Does he go up there? Yeah. If it's him, he's gone too early. It is, and he has. Great ball then. Fernandez, and this time it may well count. About Veghorst, the tall totem. Again, rising with him. Critical touch, 1 1. Again, it's all about the delivery. Keeper makes a decision to come out. Gallo, Bruno Fernandez, fellow Portuguese. And towards Rashford, cleared only as far as Beckhorst. And again, who gave it away, made the block. There's Garnacho. He may well have won it in the 90th minute. A teenage Tyro may just have sent Manchester United spinning into the quarterfinals. Again with a mistake. It'll come for Fred, it's three. The deal is sealed. Manchester United 
12 times winners of the FA Cup. Through as one of the big wigs to the last eight. Through as one of the big wigs, through as one of the favourites. Veghorst continues up front despite Stewart, a haul of just two goals in 17 appearances for the club. Reaching a quarter final, is there's a clue there as to his general approach. And he gets in 1v1 situations. A chance for Manchester United to draw a rare save from Leno. Tete. Beckhorst, Sancho, McTominay. Q. Champolinia. Comes to William. And then it's Anthony Robinson who has the final effort on goal. William. And William lets fly and draws a decent save out of De Gea. Might be an even better save than that. Yet to change in the UK, unlike the US. This is Pereira. And a chance and a goal at long last for Alexander Mitrovic. His first since the turn of the year. That bit of space at the near post. There may be a bit of blocking off. Rashford went down, but it's the flicker at the near post. Of course, Rashford, who seems OK again now, and Bruno Fernandes! Anthony. Sancho herring through the middle. Sancho has the ball. Sancho has the chance. And William gets back, keeps his hand out of the way, does he? And it's a corner despite Howells for a penalty. Well, I think he's saying it hit his arm, but his arm was tucked in. That's what he's trying to say. Here's the counter-attack. Anthony picks the right pass at the right time. Sancho shows good... Comp Pleading their respective cases. And Massive call in the game here. We may for his pocket. Fulham are down to 10. And Manchester United have a route back into this... The centre forward, and then... That's what he gets the red car for. End of Old Trafford. Manchester United in peril up till now. But now level. And with a platform to go on and claim a semi-final place against nine men. The other thing to add is that the FA usually come down very hard on players that make contact with referees, so it may not just be a standard ban for Mitrovic. Here's Sancho. Now it's Shaw. And it's turned in by Savitzer. And Fulham's FA Cup dream of a semi-final is disintegrating all around them. Two goals in two minutes. So then, also available on ESPN Plus, one of the standout fixtures of world soccer, Barcelona-Real Madrid, the latest El Clasico. Coverage begins at 3 Eastern. Here's Fred for Manchester United. Bruno Fernandes, Manchester United are through to the semi-finals. They've had their problems, they've had their missteps, but Fulham opened the doors for them and Manchester United have motored through and will play Brighton at Wembley next month. Well, it's obviously too easy now, up against nine players, Fred just comes out into that bit of space. It's almost a five versus three, Robinson tries to read the pass and gets it wrong. And Bruno Fernandes... Just walks onto it, good first touch, he looks at the goalkeeper. Well, today Brighton the captain by Lewis Dunk, the only survivor from their last semi-final four years ago. A raft of... It's McAllister, oh, that's close, it's a corner. Well, to reach it, De Gea, De Gea just took a step to the right, Martin. I thought that McAllister maybe have just fooled him going into the far side of the goal, but it was... A... Attack. Here's Gross getting away from Anthony. Coming up, Enciso, who scored that uh, stunner at Stamford Bridge last week. Enciso, Matoma, this is where they're so good. Can be very good. Enciso following up. And he's allowed him to have the shot, I guess. 
He struck it, but Juan Bissaka's challenge had to be spot on. As Matoma comes in off the line, Juan Bissaka's making up ground from behind. Well, here's Bruno Fernandes with a chance to make the most of the regulation time that's left. Martin has a big chance, but it's really well crafted by Manchester United and a wonderful side foot volley from Casemiro. By Bruno Fernandes. Alexa going for the uh, Hollywood pass. And it's found Marcus Rashford. Half time closing and Manchester United closing in, and Ericsson found himself on the end of the move that he played a big part in. They do go short this time. Dunk coming round the back. Toma. Fire it through a lot of bodies. Oh! It was Ens Which De Gea did well to keep out. Webster going in again and round the back. Chance, that's a big well. chance. Annoyed Danny Welbeck when he didn't convert it. He did score with a header at uh, Chelsea. Dallo, Sancho. Peter in. Good glance by Sabitzer. Just needed it. Webster. Macedo's giving it away. Rashford, Fred, Sancho, Rashford, wonderful save by Sanchez, wonderful save. That is a sensational save because I think it takes a deflection on the way through Martin as well. Straight in with the referee. hobble has gone, I think. Rashford's running. Could this be the moment for Manchester United? Fekhol's done marked in the middle. Rashford wants it for himself and this season, it's a surprise when he misses. Well, missing the target, yes, because looking at through to McAllister, first goal gross again. March getting to uh, his shooting position. Matoma to weave it through. Still going, Matoma. It's a foul on De Gea, I think. He's hammered into the side netting by Estupinian. We got so close so often. It was quite brilliant from Brighton. The interchange, the takeovers, Matoma's run. The perfect 12 march. Oh, and he skied it. Manchester United into the FA winners of the EFL Cup. And he's done it. It's a Manchester derby here in June. Brighton are distraught. The difference, one penalty kick.